What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or server issue in Warzone. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It will really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me. I mean, it's free for you guys and you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit. I would really be thankful for that. So really, really thankful for that. And I'm going to thank you for that right now. And I would just say, let's get started. So the first step in order to fix every kind of connection or server issue is going to be to uh, navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto your Windows uh, symbol and using the Windows search function to type in CMD. So command prompt and you're going to enter that. And once this window pops up, I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush. DNS and hit enter afterwards. So once successfully flushed pops up, you're going to be able to end this process. And uh, the next step is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of the screen again. This time I want you to open up your settings. So once this tab pops up, I want you to navigate right onto network and internet. And once this tab pops up, I want you to click onto network and sharing center and navigate to the top left corner of your screen. We're going to see four different links. And I want you to click on the second one where it says change adapter settings. So once you did that, I want you to right click the first one which pops up. So Ethernet or Internet, it just matters which or depends on which one you're using. So right click, disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few moments and enable it again. This could take quite a few seconds. So just wait patiently until it's connected again. And uh, once it is connected, you should be able to close this window again. Yeah and return back right to your network and sharing center where I want you as the next step um, to click right onto blue branded one. So again, in internet or ethernet just depends on which one you're using, left click. Once the internet or ethernet status pops up, go to properties and double click the internet protocol version four. So once you did that, this window will pop up and I want you to enable to use the following DNS server addresses. And I want you to uh, type in at the preferred DNS server address, uh, the Google DNS server address, or you're gonna type in four times eight and on the alternate DNS server, two times four and two times eight. So once you finished here, I want you to apply and hit okay. And you should be able to uh, end every single process again. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you guys, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.